in this lesson, we are going to solve equations using factoring. Before we proceed in our main topic, let us have a short review of factorings of polynomials. As you can see, ang mga given ko lang dito, ang pinaka-highest exponent niya ay to the second power. Kasi in problem solving, na-applyan nyo, mas madalas na lumalabas doon ay si quadratic lang. Alright? Kaya ito lang yung ating re-reviewin muna. So, let us have number 1. We have x squared plus x. Let us find the factors of x squared plus x. Para malaman natin ang factors si number 1, so kailangan alamin mo muna yung format niya. So, ano ba yung nararapat na gagamitin sa natin kay number 1 na factoring? As you can see, the given is have common. What is common with number 1? Ang common niya is x. So, therefore, since may common siya, ang gagamitin natin ay si common monomial factor. Just find common. So, ang common niya here is x. Then, we are going to divide. x squared divided by x, the answer is x. Then, x divided by x, the answer is 1 plus 1. So, this is now your answer. That's the factor. Factors. Next, number 2. We have here x squared minus 25. And given number 2, as you can see, um, walang common sa kanya. But, the given is perfect square and another perfect square. Then, yung gitna niya ay minus. So, difference of 2 squared. So, since it is difference of 2 squared, so, madali lang yung kanyang factoring. So, ang factoring niya lang, open, close, open, close. Then, square root mo lang yung x squared, x and x. Yun yung hati niya. Then, since difference siya, isang positive, isang negative. Square root mo lang si 25, the answer is 5, and then 5. We're done. That's the difference of 2 squares. Factoring of difference of 2 squares. So, how will you check if your answer is correct? Foil method. We have x, x times x, x squared. Then, we have here 5 times x, that is 5x x times negative 5, that is negative 5x. This one is 0, kaya mawawala na yan. Then, the next one is 5 times negative 5, the answer is negative 25. So, your factor is correct. Next tayo, let us have number 3. For number 3, we have x squared plus 6x plus 5. In this case, we have here a trinomial, quadratic trinomial. Kapag trinomial na ang given mo, Pwede na tayong gumamit ng trial and error. So, yan. Trial and error ginagamit kapag trinomial. Merong quadratic, linear, and then we have here um, um, constant. So, si trial and error, mag-open, close, open, close ka din dyan. And then, we are going to find the factors of 5. So, si x squared, x and x lang yan. So, what would be the factors of 5? Ang factors lang naman ni 5 is 5 and 1. If you are going to add 5 plus 1, the answer is 6. So, since 6 yung sagot dyan, ang gitna rin natin ay 6. Therefore, the factors of this trinomial is x plus 1, ah, sorry, ayan, x plus 1 at saka x plus 5. Ayan, pwede naman kasi siyang magkabalik tadi. Alright? So, pwede rin siyang x plus 5 times x plus 1. So, we're done. So, how will you check if your answer is correct? So, pwede kang mag-foil method. x times x, that is x squared. This one is 1x plus 1 or x. Then, this one is plus 5x. Then, this one is plus 5. If you are going to add this one, that is 6x. Ayun, lumabas. x squared, 6x plus 5. Ayun. So, your factor is correct. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have number 2. As you can see sa so number 2, meron ulit tayo um, quadratic trinomial. So, we are going to use trial and error pa rin. So, sa so trial and error, since may 2x dyan, so, yung isa ay 2x, yung isa ay x. Bakit? Kasi 2 times x is 2x squared. Right? Next tayo, let us have the factors of 4. So, natin nilalagay yung 4. Ang factors na 4 ay meron 4 and 1 at saka meron tayong 2 and 2. Let us try first 4 and 1. Since negative ito, so dapat isang positive, isang negative. So, dito tayo magtatry nang magtatry ha. 
So, let us have, lagay natin dito yung 4, dito naman yung 1. So, let us have yung gitna. 4 times x, we have here 4x. 2 times 1, that is negative 2x. So, mali. Hindi natin makukuha si 7x. Pagpalitin kaya natin dito si 4 and 1. Ito gagawin kong 1, ito gagawin kong 4. Let us try. 1 times x, that is 1x. Then, this one is 2 times negative 4. The answer is negative 8x. If I'm going to subtract this one, that is negative 7x. Numabas ba yung gitna? Yes. So, therefore, ito na yung ating sagot. Yan. So, we have now 2x plus 1 times x minus 4. Is it clear? So, short review lang yan. So, what if merong medyo mahabang factoring? So, mamaya na natin siya i-ano. Ilagay na natin siya doon sa ating pinaka-discussion. So, kung gusto nyo pa yung reviewin yung factoring, iba't ibang klaseng factoring, back nyo yung aking previous um, lesson. Then, nandun yung iba't ibang klase pang factoring for more examples. Alright? Let us move with our main topic. Solving equations using factoring. So, paano mo ngayon masasabing equation ngayon ang sinusolve mo? Kapag siya ay naka-equate into zero. So, dapat lahat ng equations mo ay naka-equate into zero. So, kapag hindi siya naka-equate into zero, we are going to change it kung saan i-interchange mo yung mga variables at saka yung constant term doon sa left side, then, kailangan yung right side ay laging equal lang to zero. Naintindihan? So, for us to solve, ang gagamitin lang natin lagi ay factoring, then afterwards, we are going to apply zero product property. So, what is zero product property? So, we have here if a, B is equal to 0. A and B are factors. Then, A would be equal to 0. Then, or B is equal to 0. So, ang gagawin natin, yung both factors mo, yung mga factors mo, i-equate mo lang sa 0 for us to solve for the equation or solve for X. Is it clear? Let us have an example. Let us have number 1 and 2. For number 1 and 2, as you can see, ang gagamitin lang natin dito ay si common monomial factor. Bakit common monomial factor? Dito may common, we have x. Dito may common, ang common niya is 2x. Let us have common. We have here, the common is x. Then, open parenthesis, x squared divided by x, the answer is x. Plus, 3x divided by x, the answer is 3. S equal to 0. So, meron kang factors dito at saka ito. So, dalawa yung factors natin. So, what you are going to do, you are going to separate those factors and equate it into 0. So, this factors is x is equals to 0. Then, the other one is x plus 3 is equals to 0. Then, solve for x. Simply solve for x by transposing 3 to the other side. Kapag ikay nagtatranspose at dumadaan ka kay equal sign, nagcha-change ng sign. So, since ito ay positive, magiging na siyang negative. So, x is equals to negative 3. So, your answer in this equation is x is equals to 0 and x is equals to negative 3. We're done. Ganun lang kasimple on solving equations using factoring. Is it clear? Next tayo, we have here 2x squared minus 6x equals to 0. So, ang common natin dito ay si 2x. Bakit si 2x? Kasi si 6 divisible by 2 din. Tama? Si 2 divisible by 2. Then, we have a common. We have x. ba Kapag makuha tayo ng common ng variable, yung pinakamababa exponent, which is x. And open parenthesis. Then, let us divide. 2x squared divided by 2. 2 divided by 2, 1 na lang yun. So, x squared divided by x, the answer is x. Ayan. Pag minultiply mo yan, ang sagot dyan ay 2x squared. Okay? Then, just copy the sign. Negative. 6x divided by 2x. So, yung x mawala na. So, 6 divided by 2 na lang. The answer is 3. Close. Okay? Then, equals to 0. Afterwards, separate ulit natin ng factors. Then, equate mo sa 0. So, you have your 2x is equals to 0. Divide both sides by 2. If you divide 0 divided by 2, the answer is 0 pa rin. Is it clear? 
So, meron ka na isang answer. Yung pangalawang answer mo, we have your x minus 3 is equal to 0. Just transpose negative 3 to the other side. Since negative siya, lilipat mo sa kabila, magiging na siya ang positive. So, x is equal to positive 3. We're done. So, this is now your answer. Is it clear? So, kung gusto mo i-check naman, yung mga x's mo, substitute mo. Halimbawa, 0. So, ito magiging 0. 0 squared. Ang 0 squared ay 0. Times 2 ay magiging 0. Ito, 6 times 0, we have 0. Is it clear? So, tama. What if 3? Negat we have positive 3. 2 times 3 squared. 2 times 3 squared, we have here 9. Minus 6 times 3. Okay? 6 times 3, we have here 18. 2 times 9, we have 18. 18 minus 18, the answer is 0. Correct. Is it clear? So, ganun lang mag- Mag-check ng answers. Ma'am, paano mo malalaman kung ilan lagi yung sagot? Okay. Kapag yung pinakamataas sa exponent mo ay 2, meaning kailangan makakuha ka ng dalawang sagot. Is it clear? Halimbawa ng ang pinakamataas na exponent mo ay 3, kailangan makakuha ka ng tatlong x. Halimbawa ng ang pinakamataas mo exponent is 4, kailangan makakuha ka ng 4 na x. Is it clear? So, ganun lang siya. So, let us have more examples. Let us have number 3. x squared is equals to 100. As you can see, hindi siya naka-equate into 0. So, kailangan ilipat natin yung 100 sa left side. So, etong 100, lipat natin doon para equate na siya sa 0. So, si x squared, just copy x squared. Since positive ito, magiging na negative. Negative 100 is equals to 0. Then, afterwards, yan. So, we have here a perfect square and a perfect square, then minus. So, this one is difference of 2 square. Open, close, open, close. So, it is equal to 0. So, x at saka x. What is the square root of 100? Ang square root ni 100 ay 10. So, plus 10 at saka minus 10. So, kailangan tanda nyo yung mga iba't ibang klase ng factoring ah, at saka kung saan siya ina-apply para hindi kayo nalilito. Since meron na tayong factors, so we have x plus 10 at saka x minus 10, equate mo na siya sa 0. x plus 10 equals to 0. Then, solve for x. Yung positive 10, lipat mo sa kabilang side, magiging na siyang x is equal to negative 10. We have the first x. Next tayo x minus 10 is equal to 0. Just transpose 10 to the other side. So, x is equal to negative becomes positive. The answer is positive 10. So, your answer with number 3 is negative 10 and positive 10. Number 4. x squared minus 36 equals to 0. So, naka-equate na siya kay 0. So, no need to transpose. So, as you can see, perfect square, perfect square, then minus pa rin. So, this one is difference of 2 square pa rin. So, open, close, open, close. Factor ni x squared is x and then x. Then, factors ni 36, a square root ni 36 is plus 6 at saka minus 6. Ma'am, pwede po ba magkabalik na yung plus 6 at saka minus 6? Yes, po, pwede po. Then, equal to 0. Then, separated. We have here x plus 6 equate mo sa 0. x minus 6 equate mo sa 0. Then solve for x. x is equals to si positive 6 lipat sa kabilang side magiging minus 6. You have now your first x. x is equal to si negative 6 lipat mo sa kabilang side magiging positive 6. So that is your answer. Negative 6 at saka positive 6. Is it clear? So, di ba, madali na siya kapag alam mong mag-factoring. Pero pag hindi mo alam mag-factoring, dun ka mahihirapan. So, kailangan pag-aralan mo muna yung factoring. So, lilagay ko ulit yung link sa baba ng description para alam mong mag-factoring. Ano, handun yung discussion ng factoring natin. Number 5. X squared plus 4X is equals to negative 4. Hindi ulit siya naka-equate into 0. So, what you are going to do, Si negative 4, ililipat natin sa kabilang side. So, negative 4 magiging positive 4. So, we have here now, x squared plus 4x, then plus 4, is equal to 0. Ayan. 
Then, since we have here trinomial, okay, tandaan po pala, kailangan yung exponent na x mo ay pababa. O, di ba? 2, 1, then 0. Wala ng variable. Kailangan lagi na una si quadratic, linear, tapos si constant. O, walang variable. Tandaan po yan, ha? Ganyan po lagi ang arrangement yan. Then, since we have here trinomial, trial and error ang gagamitin natin. So, we have here x squared. We have x and x. Madali lang kapag walang number do sa, sa side ni quadratic eh. Then, factor si 4. Ang factor si 4 ay 4 and 1, then 2 and 2. As you can see, ang gitna niya ay 4. Then, plus naman siya lahat. So, plus to, plus to. So, pag in natin to, 4 plus 1, the answer is 5. 2 plus 2, the answer is 4. So, anong factor? So, obviously, this one. So, plus 2 at saka plus 2. Ayan na, nakuha na natin ang factors. Then, it is equals to 0. Then, separate mo lang. x plus 2 is equals to 0. Therefore, x is equals, lipat mo yung positive 2, magiging negative 2. That's your x. Next, x plus 2 is equals to 0. Lipat mo si positive 2, so x is equals to negative 2. We're done. Number 6. We have here, negative 3x plus x squared is equals to 18. So, hindi siya naka-arrange. Hindi rin nauna yung quadratic. So, kailangan mauna. Ang gagawin natin, pagpapalitin lang natin to ng pwesto. Pag ikay nagpalit ng pwesto, pero hindi ka dumaan ka equal sign, no need to change the sign. Naintindihan? Bag mo nang babaguhin ang sign kapag ganito lang ang pwestuhan niya. Hindi ka dumadaan kay equal sign. Pag dumaan ka lang kay equal sign, tsaka ka lang magpapalit ng sign. Is it clear? So, this one, pagpapalitin mo lang. So, meron kang x squared and then minus 3x. Eh, ma'am, si 18, nasa kabilang side. So, yan yung papalitan mo ng sign. Kaya yan, magiging negative 18 equals to 0. Then, tsaka tayo magpuproceed sa factoring kasi naka-arrange na siya. So, factoring tayo, we have here x and x. Ngayon, factors ni 18. Ano-ano ang factors ni 18? Since negative ito, isang positive at saka isang negative ang gagamitin natin. Ang factors ni 18 ay 6, uh, doon tayo sa ano, 18 and 1. Ano pa? 6 and 3. Ano pa? 9 and 2. So, isang positive, isang negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So, kailangan pag inoperate natin siya, ang sag magiging sagot ay negative 3. Ito ay 17. So, mali na to. Ito ay positive 3. Ayun. Lumapit na. So, anong gagawin natin dito para maging negative? Pag-change natin yung sign. Ito negative, ito positive. So, negative 6 plus 3, ang magiging sagot dyan ay negative 3. Ayun. Nakita mo na ang tamang um ang tamang factor. So, since negative yung 6, dito mo lalagay yung 6. Then, positive yung 3, dito mo lalagay yung 3. Alright? So, ayan. Then, since we have now your correct factors, equals to 0, that is all for x. So, we have your x plus 3 equals 0. Just transpose it. So, x is equals to negative 3. We're done. x minus 6 equals to 0. Lipat x equals negative becomes positive, x equals to positive 6. Alright? Let us have more examples. Number 7. We have 3x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals to 0. We have here a trinomial, quadratic trinomial. So, trial and error pa rin yung gagamitin natin dito. So, we have open close, open close equals to 0. So, syempre, ang factors lang naman ni 3 is 3x at saka x. So, ngayon, ang factors naman ni 2, ni, ni, pa, ni 2 is 1 at saka si 2. Yun nga lang, negative ito, yung dulo, kaya dapat isang positive, isang negative. Yan. So, trial and error tayo. sa so, natin ilalagay yung 1 at saka yung 2? Kung dito natin ilalagay yung 1, then dito yung 2. So, let us check. Kailangan negative 5 yung maging sagot sa gitna. Eh. Ito, 1 times x, that is x. Then, 3 times 2, we have negative 6x. If you subtract, we have negative 5x. Ayun, tumama na agad. So, ang ating ng factors is this one. 
we have 3x plus 1 at saka x minus 2. Then, separate natin. So, you have here 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. This one is x minus 2 equals to 0. Si 1, lipat mo sa kabilang side, magiging negative. So, you have here 3x equals to negative 1. Eh, may 3 pa doon. You need to divide both sides by 3 by 3 over 3. Canceled out. Therefore, yung isa mong x is equal to negative 1 third. So, ito yung isa mong x. Yun, negative 1 third. Next, ito, lipat mo lang sa kabilang side. x is equal to positive 2. So, yung isa mong x is equal to positive 2. We're done. Next tayo, let us have number A. As you can see, sabi dito, x cubed plus x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals to 0. Ang highest exponent niya is 3. So, kailangan makakuha tayo ng tatlong x. So, how is it? So, dito na pumapasok si groupings. Yung factoring with groupings. So, ang igugroup mo yung may mga common. So, ito may common to each other which is x. Ito may common din to each other which is 4. Kaya, pwede na siya i-factor. I-group. So, we have your x cubed plus x squared. So, ganun lang naman mag-group. Then, dito ay, yung negative na yung ilagay natin dito. Negative. So, since negative na to, pag dinivide mo to dito, magiging ng positive, or x. Ito rin, pag negative at negative, magiging na tong plus 4. Ano na? Uh, wag malito ha. So, pwede rin naman. O, oh, pwede yan ha. O, oh, pwede rin naman ganito. Just simply copy. Positive ito. Plus. O, oh, wala naman mag-ano doon. Hindi na magkakaibi ang sagot. So, ito magiging negative 4x. Ito magiging negative 4x. Kung nalilito kayo sa ganun. So, equals to 0. Ayan. Oh, ito yung isang choice. Then, afterwards, what's common with this one? Hi, uh, pinakamalit na exponent? x squared. Ayan. Open. So, divide mo. Ito magiging x na lang. 3 minus 2. 1 to. Then, plus. x squared divide x squared. 1. Ayan. Plus. So, ang common sa kanya ay negative 4. So, yung negative 4, labas mo. So, ito magiging negative 4. Plus, negative 4. Or, pwedeng wala ng plus. Minus 4 na lang. Kasi, positive times negative is negative. Minus 4. Tapos, divide mo. So, magigitong x. Divide mo to. Plus 1. Okay? Naging negative divided by negative is positive. Is equals to 0. As you can see, may common tayo. x plus 1 tsaka x plus 1. So, lagay mo dito, x plus 1. That's the common. Then, divide mo to. So, cancel to. Matitira si x squared. Open tayo, x squared. Then, ito, pag dinivide mo, matitira si negative 4. Minus 4. Yan lang. So, ito yun. x plus 1, pag iisahin mo, then yung x squared minus 4, pag iisahin mo. Then, equals to 0. Afterwards, ano nang susunod na gagawin? Equate mo na. So, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Yan yung isa mo. Ito isa. x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Ito, transpose mo lang to the other side. Sex, x is equal to negative 1. Meron ka ng isang x. Dalawa na lang ang kulang mo. Ito is a perfect square and another perfect square. As you can see. So, kapag ganyan siya, we have difference of 2 square. Tama? So, since difference of 2 square, common ko, uh, we have here the factors x and x. So, positive is ang negative. Oh, tatandaan nyo yan ha. Pag, pag, pag pwede pa, i-factor nyo lang na i-factor. Si so, ito ay square root ni 4 ay 2 and 2 equals to 0. So, ngayon, equate mo ulit siya sa 0. So, we have here, taas ko na. Dito ko na, sulat ko na din eh. So, yung huli mong factor, x plus 2 times x minus 2 equals to 0. Equate into 0. x plus 2 equals to 0. x minus 2 equals to 0. Just transpose. x is equal to negative 2. Pangalawa. Isa. Just transpose. x is equal to positive 2. Tapos na. So, your x's are negative 1, negative 2, and positive 2. Is it clear? So, that is how you are going to solve equations using factoring. 
So, hopefully, meron kayo natutunan at marami kayo natutulan for this lesson. And, kung gusto nyo balikan si Factoring, just click the uh, link in the description box. So, thank you for listening. Bye-bye!